Hi guys, this is Samir Islam, and I want to talk to you about a condition that a lot of people see me for, which is called Crohn's disease. Now, Crohn's disease falls under the spectrum of what's called inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD, which includes ulcerative colitis. What makes these diseases unique is that these are typically inflammatory responses of the GI tract, and that inflammation can cause a lot of symptoms uh, within the gastrointestinal tract, including inflammation, stricturing, narrowing and bleeding. Now what, what makes Crohn's disease different than anything else is that this, is, this can cause inflammation anywhere within the GI tract. So you can have inflammation in the mouth, in the esophagus, in the small intestine, and in the colon. <coughs> and that inflammation can manifest in a lot of different ways. Now there's no one diagnostic test for people who think that they may have Crohn's. It's usually a combination of physical exam, history, endoscopy, either an upper endoscopy or a lower endoscopy, imaging such as CT or MRI, stool tests and blood tests. And the combination of all these different testing will give us more information to know if you have Crohn's disease or not. Now some of the symptoms for Crohn's disease include things like weight loss, fevers, upset stomach, bloody stools, abdominal distension. But keep in mind a lot of these, and diarrhea as well. But keep in mind a lot of these symptoms can mimic other things which can make it seem like you may have Crohn's disease, which is why it's important that you see your healthcare provider to uh, talk about some of these symptoms that you may have. Now one thing that keep in mind, to keep in mind also is that Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis is very different than something you may have heard about called IBS or irritable, irritable bowel syndrome. IBS does not have the inflammatory component that Crohn's disease have, and a lot more people have IBS than they actually have things like Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis. But if you're having symptoms such as rectal bleeding, significant nausea or vomiting, weight loss, upset stomach, and fevers, and you can't really pinpoint what could be the cause, make sure you see your healthcare provider, which can maybe direct you to see a gastroenterologist to see if you may have Crohn's disease or not. I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them below. And thanks and take care. Bye-bye.